Hi everyone, Phil from Ted for Techs here. Today we're going to be looking at this value gaming mouse from Marvo. It's the M115 4000 DPI gaming mouse, and again, it's from Marvo. We've got links just below if you're interested in purchasing. Those links will also take you to the latest prices online. <laughs> Are you looking for a great networking solution? Well, Tender has it all. Finding your BT router no longer has the power? Then try one of these from Tender. Hell yeah! Is the Wi-Fi on your laptop not working and you need a discreet solution? Well then get this from Tender. Hell yeah! Finding the kids can't get Wi-Fi in the bedroom and they're making your life miserable? Well, you need to get one of these from Tender. Oh, hell yeah! Looking for a low cost solution to get internet into your home office? Then you need to get some of these from Tender. Hell yeah! For all your networking needs, trust Tender. Hell yeah! Okay, let's have a really quick look at this box. As you can see, it's uh, the M115 and it's Marvo Scorpion and it says it's got seven colours, so I'm presuming it's set colouring on there, so it's not going to be fully RGB, but we'll have a look at that in a bit. Uh, it says it's programmable, so that means it's usually software. It's got six buttons and it's got an optical sensor. Uh, the optical sensor is 4000 DPI and as you can see, you've got lots of colouring on the actual mouse itself, so it's sort of like a... Uh, crisscross pattern is probably the best way of putting it and it's got all the other options on there Okay, as you can see we've got the mouse outside the box. It comes with a one and a half meter cable It's not braided, but it is rubberized cable. So uh, it was pretty standard. It's standard USB 2.0 cable, so nothing too fancy there. You can probably see it glowing straight away. That's pretty much the main effect it does. You can set it to, as a single colour, but that single colour does depend on the specific DPI you have it on. So if you have it on 6000 DPI or whatever the option is, then it will be at that set colour all the time if you want it on a set colour. Uh, so it's not the best. It is a little bit fiddly, the software, and a lot of the time you press apply it doesn't do anything on the box it does show that the mouse is in multiple colors um, so sort of green and blue at the same time and purple and blue and different things like that it doesn't seem to do any of that even when altering the software which is a bit of a shame but saying that it is a value mouse and we do see that sort of thing happen quite a bit with marketing on boxes so the actual bits what do light up you can see there's a bit just to the right of the right mouse button there also to the left of the left mouse button, a horseshoe shape at the bottom, their logo, and then this sort of crisscross effect all across the mouse. So that all lights up as well as little bits on the edges of the wheels as well, or the wheel should I say. The buttons itself, you've got a left button, a right button, so pretty standard. You've got a wheel which is rubberized in the center, which uh, is quite tactile, so that's good. Noise. It's pretty standard for a mouse in all honesty, nothing too much. And then you do have the DPI button on the top. When you press the DPI button, it doesn't always seem to want to change the DPI and then you do press it again and then it starts flashing, which means it's changing the DPI. So it seems to be a little bit, sometimes works, sometimes it do, doesn't. On the left hand side, you do have a forward and a back button there. That will let you obviously go forward and backwards when you're on the internet, so previous page and so forth. But you can obviously change that in games to do different things like kneeling, sitting, jumping and so forth. On the bottom, you've got three glide plates. So you've got one at the front and two at the back and a few bits of specifications and you can see the little laser in the bottom as well. But otherwise, that's pretty much it for the mouse. We'll do some uh, B-roll now just to show you some of the uh, colour effects uh, when it is a little bit darker. Thank you for watching this video everyone, it's really appreciated you made it all the way to the end. Please make sure you subscribe, like, 
comment and even click that bell so you get notifications of new videos and live streams. It does help support the channel and supporting the channel basically means that we can release more content for you and also better quality content going forward. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.